Welcome to Taylor's Tour. In this video, we will take you to the Kosciuszko Summit and show you the amazing scenery and breathtaking view from the highest point of mainland Australia. This summit trail is a relatively easy three hours walk one way. Can we do it? Of course we can. It's just the good exercise I need. As soon as we started walking, we were amazed by these beautiful snow gum trees on the side of the road. Snow gum is amongst the hardest of all eucalyptus species, surviving the severe winter temperatures of the Australian Alps. The species regenerates from seed by epicomic shoots below the bark and from lignotubers. tubers. It is the most cold-tolerant species of eucalyptus surviving temperatures down to minus 23 degree and year-round frosts even in deep snow. Above an altitude of about 1,500 meters, the trees have been shown to increase snowpack accumulation and moderate melt, making snow gum critically important to the hydrology and water resources of Southeast Australia. The Summit Trail is a relatively easy walk compared to others. With a gradual ascent suitable for anyone with a reasonable fitness. The summer track set out along the old road to Mount Kosciuszko is popular with nature-loving hikers and mountain bikers keen for an outdoor adventure. Have your camera ready for the glorious views of Australia's highest mountains. Admire amazing displays of wild flowers, including marsh marigolds, silver snow daisies, mountain roses, and buttercups in early summer. We were also amazed by the rock formations on the way under this most beautiful sky. Around four and a half kilometers from Charlotte Pass, we arrived at the very beginning of Snowy River. A stunning scenic spot for a photo opportunity. Across the river, we continue our walk.
we follow the track, which winds slowly up. After the six kilometers walk, we still feel strong, especially as we can enjoy the spectacular scenery. We reached the Siemens hut, 2,030 meters above sea level, which was built in 1929. Here is the Rawson Pass, 2,100 meters above sea level. If riding a bike, you have to leave your bike here. Bike stands are available. From here, we started our final one and a half kilometers walk to the summit of Mount Kosciuszko. The higher we go, the better the view. We are also fascinated by these beautiful wild flowers. There are three main hiking trails that lead to the summit. In my opinion, the great three six and a half kilometers travel to Mount Kosciuszko walk via chairlift is relatively easier compared with the nine and a half kilometers summit walk we are doing today. The 11 kilometers one way grade four main range walk is a more difficult one, especially walking up to the summit. It's a good idea to return to Charlotte Pass along the main range walk via Blue Lake. If you after a challenge and come well equipped, Located in Oceania region, the geography of Australia encompasses a wide variety of biogeographic regions, being the world's smallest continent, while comprising the territory of the sixth largest country in the world. The geography of the continent is extremely diverse, ranging from the snow-capped mountains of the Australian Alps and Tasmania to large deserts, tropical and temperate forests, grasslands, heathlands, and woodlands. The Eastern Highlands, or Great Dividing Range, lie near the eastern coast of Australia, separating the relatively narrow eastern coastal plain from the rest of the continent. These Eastern Australian temperate forests have the most rainfall and the most abundant and varied flora and fauna and the densest human settlement. Australia is the lowest, flattest and oldest continental landmass on earth and it has had a relatively stable geological history. Geological forces such as tectonic uplift of mountain ranges and clashes between tectonic plates occurred mainly in Australia's early prehistory when it was still a part of Gondwana. 
Its highest peak is Mount Kosciuszko, at 2,228 meters, 7,310 feet, which is relatively low in comparison to the highest mountains on other continents. If you choose a sunny summer day to come up here, it can be snow-free like today. I have to admit, this walk is a bit of challenge, but it's totally worth it when you can see all this. A few more steps, we've reached the Mount Kosciuszko summit. We are on the top of Australia. We've finally done it, like many others. Nothing can match the magnificent 360-degree view here. We strongly suggest that anyone who is able should have a go. The mountain was formed by geological uplift. It was not formed by any recent volcanic activity. Eroded granite intrusions remained at the summit as large boulders above the more heavily eroded sedimentary rocks. This is mainland Australia's highest peak, Mount Kosciuszko within the 6,900 square kilometers, 2,700 square mile national park called the Kosciuszko National Park. Australia leads the list of countries with the most national parks by an incredible distance, home to 685 national parks, occupying 335,062 square kilometers of land. We love Australia. It is one of the greatest countries in the world. We are blessed with the beautiful environment and the great freedom we can enjoy. Do you agree? Please leave your comments below.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumb up and share it to others. Please subscribe to our channel and press bell for more. We thank you for your great support.